Hello everyone. Welcome back to math homework for Thursday, October 23rd. So today's homework is still working on patterns. I am going to choose to pick one of the more difficult pattern questions to help you with tonight and that is going to be the one on decimals. Okay. So the reason I'm picking this one is because not only do you have to figure out a pattern, but you also have to figure out the pattern using decimals to the hundredth. In order for me to do that, I'm going to use a sticky note because I need to have a little space to write. So the first thing I want to ask you all is how is the first question or the first number changing to the second number? If I move from 5.8 to 5.6, am I increasing or decreasing? So 5.8 to 5.6 is decreasing. So I am going to start by putting 5.8 and then I'm going to add an extra zero on the end because that is just a placeholder. And I am going to subtract 5.65 from my number, right? I will have to borrow and carry and do all that fun stuff here. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 7 minus 6 is 1, and then I have a 0. So we need to figure out if that is going to be consistent. So I'm going to do it one more time, 5.65 and I'm going to subtract out 5.50 and see if I get the same number. And I do. All right, so my pattern is going to be subtract zero point one five. Okay. Now it is asking us to calculate out the next three numbers. The next three numbers. So you might want to write down 5.35 and you are going to subtract out 0 0.15. All right, that'll get you number one. Then you're gonna do it again and then one more time after that to get your final answers here. So I will give you the first one. The first one is 5.2 and then you have to do the other two. Okay? So that is the most difficult question for tonight. Then you're going to move over to this side where you're working with fractions. It asks what fraction is being added to this pattern to this pattern as this pattern grows. Look again and see how does it change from 1 to 2. And on that one it looks like from 3 to 5, 3, 4, 5. So it's changing by 2 twelfths. Now remember, if you get above 12 twelfths, you are going to change to a mixed number, okay? So our first answer was 2 twelfths, all right? It says write the next fraction in the pattern as a mixed number. So if I have 11 twelfths, I'm going to put this on the sticky again so it gets nice and clear. If I have 11 twelfths and I am adding 2 twelfths, what do I end up with? I end up with 13 twelfths. All right. To figure out how to divide this out, we do 12 goes into 13 one whole time. 
and then we end up with the remainder of 1 12th. Okay, 1 and 1 12th. This is how you change a mixed, an irregular fraction into a mixed number. Okay? All right, the rest of this is pretty much what we're used to. You must write the rule for the, fra uh, for the pattern and you must answer the next question. It's usually what's the next one or what's the missing one. So just make sure even this one, they're giving you the rule. This one, they're giving you a rule. So make sure you follow those, okay? All right, everyone, have a great evening. Good luck on your math homework.